Retail sales skyrocketing. Sorry to be the bearer of good news. Coming up on the job. Hi folks, Alex Swingle over here, Exential Wealth Advisors. It's 901 here in the middle part of the country on what is it, Wednesday? It's Wednesday. It's February 15th. Hope you all had a great Valentine's Day. It's 2023. Here's your morning jog around the economic headlines of the world. We're going to start off with retail sales. 3% jump in January. It's a pretty big seasonal effect. Pretty good rise. Listen, folks, the economy is not as bad as some experts say. Remember the recession we were going to have in 2022? Didn't happen. Recession we're having in 2023 doesn't look like it's happening either. Soon enough, there'll be calls for recession in 2024. This is the game plan. This is the playbook. Ultimately, the American consumer continues to be very strong. Also, got a huge jump in home builder sentiment, which should be no surprise if you've been watching the jog on a daily basis, as we've said, four months and perhaps even years now that the millennial housing boom is in full swing. And as soon as mortgage rates are not skyrocketing, as soon as they normalize, we will see demand pick up and we will see millennials get into houses. Tesla shutting down its Shanghai plant for a couple of weeks, or at least reducing some lines to make the new Model 3 sedan. Now, Shanghai makes about half of all Teslas anywhere. It's a pretty big deal. So shutting this down could impact their Q1 numbers. It'll be interesting to see how this all shakes out. Last but not least, let's talk a little bit about Barclays. Barclays, investment bank, kind of not retail focused, 9% down as it deals with a host of regulatory issues relating to securities malfeasance. Now, folks, this is what I've been saying for months. If you're looking at banks and looking at interest rate, look at the folks that do right by their clients. Those are the ones that are going to do well on a raising rate environment. Those are the ones that are going to keep and retain assets. Those are the ones that are not going to run into regulatory hurdles. If you look at those that rely solely on investment banking revenue, if you rely solely those that are tied to Wall Street and deal flow, you're going to have a bad time. Barclays, just the latest in this line of thinking. If you want some additional info throughout the week, feel free to find me on the internet. I'm out there. Till then, you and your family have a wonderful Wednesday. I'm out.